Well, as we're in between projects here, a chance like we did with the heads to look at a number of crankshafts all in one place, including the multi-web straight rod variety. Most people probably haven't seen these side by side. These are from our friends at MED. This is for a brand new one. It just arrived yesterday. And uh, this one over here is one that we're gonna turn into probably a super street engine. I happen to have a couple of the standard sized um, 1275 cranks here for the uh, Sprite Midget application. Take a look at these uh, locations and widths of the connecting rod journals. If you note this one here, where these rods are, the pistons are directly above, centered. And the standard setup, where the rods are, the pistons are actually skewed to one side in the bore. And so the multi-web design uses a narrower bearing. Toyota bearings I've mentioned, um, it starts out at 1.653 in inches compared to 1.625. One and five eighths journals we're all used to. Very close so that all the geometry works the same way. What they do here, they call this a fake, kind of a false five main bearing. Here's the three standards, but you look at the way the crank is made and there's room there and room there. Um, so it looks more like a conventional crankshaft. Looks a lot like the one in our Yamaha R1. Look shallower, eh? You can see these are more in a plane, the standard versus the rounder profile of the multi-web. You note on the originals here, they have to have a clearance for the distributor drive shaft. And you'll see this little area here right next to the uh, rod journal is usually ground around and in fact this one's upside down a lot of times you'll see the crank with just a chop made in it to make sure that uh, this part of the, the the build doesn't hit the distributor drive shaft you can see here this is a much sleeker arrangement no need to grind any clearances that allows these to be made in longer strokes and not hit anything and in fact, you can build some crazy engines. Uh, people build up to, I think, 1460 cc out of these 1275s. I'm not a fan of increasing the stroke. I think these are absurdly long uh, compared to modern engines. And uh, a longer stroke has a number of disadvantages, uh, in my view. But the locations here allow for, have a look over here. These are longer, so there's a specific piston. This is a six inch long connecting rod compared to the five and three quarter inch standard types. And you can see it's narrow and straight. It does away with this offset we're all used to seeing here. They weigh only about slightly more than half of the standard item. It uses five sixteenths rod bolts, not a bolt and a nut as the old uh, ARP set here shows but these are 5 sixteenths, they're torqued to a, uh, I think the rods, the uh, bolt stretch figure comes out to about 31 foot pounds. But uh, some fun stuff to look at. Uh, and by the way, you know, building a lot of these uh, engines here and there, I end up with extra pieces. Um, these two cranks I mentioned are standard dimensions, 1275 cranks. I have probably at least one more around here and I have two sets of these. Uh, standard rods with ARP rod bolts. So if anyone's in need of some of these bits and you want someone who knows what they are and can help you with what you're doing, I'm pretty easy to contact.